G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 in my hardcore playthrough, sitting in the best base I've really ever built. This is the most secure base that I've ever built in any playthrough of 7 Days to Die ever. This is like the new template that I'm always trying to strive for. Whenever I start a new game, this is like the eventual dream. We've got the killing corridor over here, and as long as you don't have any Shaquille O'Neal zombies coming through blocking your Molotovs, you're safe as houses. You can just murder them four days and take all the XP for yourself without any sort of risk to yourself in any way. But with this base being as wonderful and good as it is, there is one thing missing. And that is a way for me to get in with my motorcycle without having to get off at the front and trounce through the killing corridor as slow as the zombie moves and take like, you know, a, a long time to get through. So I am here to start working on the next improvement to my base. I need to make some way to get in and out of this place without having to fight my own defenses. And that means I'm going to have to make some sort of garage. And to make an effective garage, that means I have to make a drawbridge, which is good because I'm a big fucker fan of drawbridges. So I'm going to need a hundred forged iron, a thousand wood, which I've got plenty of already, 20 springs and 30 mechanical parts. Uh, mechanical parts, I've got plenty of those. Do I have any springs? Got plenty of those. In fact, is that all I need? I only need 20, I've got 30. So all I'm missing now is a hundred forged iron. I have 64 and I have my forge here. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. They freaking did a number on this one, didn't they? No, that's my, that's my shiv. They almost broke my freaking door down. Well, I now have significantly less reinforced uh, of forged iron because I had to use it to fix my freaking door. That's a, oh, that's an upgrade. I don't want to upgrade. That's okay. All right. So how many more do I actually need now? I need 100, so I need 43. Okay, well, do I have... Well, I don't have, don't have any, any fuel. Uh, let's quickly craft some doors because everyone knows the best fuel for your forge is a door. There we go. Forged iron. How many can I make? I make 600. You know, how about you just make me... 100 clean and clear just like that so that's going to take only six minutes so i can get rid of most of these and just go uh yep that's pretty much perfect turn on i have to burn two doors to get 100 forged steel that's why doors are the best uh, i need to quickly heal myself up because i'm still nursing the like fourth degree burns is there such thing as 4th degree burns or 3rd degree burns the worst you can get? I don't know. Maybe I've got like 10th degree burns given I set myself on fire with a Molotov cocktail from point blank. So let's quickly just use one of those, get my health back. I thought I heard a zombie out at, the, out at the gates. So maybe I can go quickly farm some XP while I'm waiting for my forged iron to be built. It sounds like a screamer, which would probably make sense. Are you... What? what? I hear you yelling about shit. Oh, there you are. What are you... What are you doing? What are you mad about? It's just like leapfrog screamer. What am I looking at here? <laughs> what? Who bred a frog with a screamer? Who did this? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Look at the jumping bitch out there. Got another screamer coming in. So be paired with this one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that one. That big boy though. Let's go line him up. Oh, like that. There we go. Take care of him before he even gets close to destroying my shit again. Cops are the biggest uh, danger I have. I mean, aside from Shaquille O'Neal and my Molotov cocktails, uh, that's probably actually the biggest threat that I have to uh, be hurting myself. But other than that, the only zombie I'm worried about is always just the, uh, what we call it? The cops. This is just too easy. Look at the pile of bodies and arrows at the front there. Every time a screamer runs out of her three screams, another one shows up. It's just a constant, like, conga line of XP-giving zombies, which is wonderful for me. I shot right over her shoulder. I think she's got one scream left in there. I'm not sure. If I don't hear from her for a little while again, I'll uh, have to finish her off and just wait for her best friend to shop. In fact, if I reckon if I look around, there's probably another one cruising in. Anywhere? Anywhere? No, nope, you didn't bring any friends? Ah, that's okay. All right, well, if I finish off all the zombies, there's probably going to be enough time uh, to go back inside. Ooh, an actual zombie drop. And there'll probably be a forge full of forged iron ready for me to make my drawbridge. Let's keep picking them off. This is the best. If you ever need an XP farm, this is the base to build. And then suddenly all was quiet. Look, I mean, you've, you've got no friends left. You've called all your friends. You've gone through your phone book and everyone who showed up has been killed. So thank you for giving me the XP. Quickly come over here and just quickly get some of my arrows back, hopefully, because I do quite like not having to rebuild my arrows after every fight. Uh, what's in here? Just get that one. Yeah, science. Whatever. Use that one as well. Let's just get some magazines going. That's fine. Eh, eh. Reach. Reach. Oh. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Wait. You've got an arrow stuck in you. I've shot you before. How are you still alive? 
Forgy boy is all done. So that means all of that is done. Where is my workbench? I was standing right next to it. Not my best moment. Uh, I want a drawbridge. Reinforced drawbridge. Craft me one of those. I heard something again. I heard something somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. It's like having like my house and then a wall outside my house just gives you that extra layer of comfort. Like, even when I hear what could be, like, a roaming horde of zombie bears, which would be the worst thing ever to actually show up here, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of that. Uh, right, so that's crafting my drawbridge. It's time for me to start figuring out how I'm actually going to run this. I, I don't want to move, like, like my uh, kind of, like, base building brain is telling me I should make my garage on the bottom floor, but I don't want to move all that stuff. So I think maybe this floor might be the best one because I only have a couple of boxes to move and my bedroll... But that means that I'm going to have to put my bedroll up on the next floor, which doesn't actually exist right now. So maybe I need to make my uh, my tower a little taller. A taller tower, if you will. Uh, which isn't the worst thing in the world, I guess. Just quickly make sure there's no uh, like screamers coming through. Nah, we're all good. You know what? We're fine. We all just do some construction. Grab my hammer. Put the wrench in there instead. I think I've got everything I'm going to need for this little uh, project. Well, for the moment, anyway. I'm going to have to break down some walls with my iron pickaxe, but it's a level 6, so it should be alright. There is a screamer out there somewhere, but it's never anything to really worry about. Are you over here somewhere? I heard you moaning about something a second ago. Where'd you go? Alright, fine, whatever. Oh, maybe you just got, like, I went and died of loneliness. You didn't have anything to scream about, so you just packed up and left. Uh, let's start going along here, building, I was just gonna build out of wood, cause it's just like, it's the top, uh, layer. This doesn't actually need to be very strong. The only part you actually need to have, like, strong defense is ground level, where they can actually get to. But up here, the worst you're gonna deal with vultures, and I don't think I've ever seen vultures actually do damage to blocks. I think vultures only damage, uh, you if they can reach you. So as long as I have a wall and some windows and a roof, I'll be A-OK -okay up here. I see you over there. I see you. Ah! Uh! Nope, just miss it. Just a bit over the top. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Nailed her. Didn't even get a chance to call in the reinforcements. Ah, oh, man, it's good. It's good. Oh, I, I, if you can't tell already, I've been gushing about it for the first, like, like 10 minutes even of uh, this build. I love this fucking base. It's the best. I always get nervous with the hammer because I'm always way too impatient and, like, start clicking too quickly. That's why I accidentally start upgrading blocks I didn't want to upgrade. And then I have to, like, break it down again to make it all look nice and symmetrical. Gotta have symmetricality and gotta have aesthetics. Don't have that, you don't have anything. You may as well just go run out in a field with zombies because you don't even deserve to have any sort of, like, base protection going on for you. You know, all the way around. It won't take too long to do. I mean, it's like, when you've got all the resources there already, it's surprisingly quick to actually knock up uh, a, a base. As long as you like, you have the uh, the resources and also the idea. If you have the uh, image in your head of what you want to build, you just fucking get to it. Then you have a base in no to look. I have a whole another second, uh, well, third story now, and I've only been here for like two minutes. I'm gonna build a roof very similar to the one I was building in uh, impossible mode, just by so ramps to the outside to like make a nice kind of rounded top. And I'm going, oh, almost fell off, almost fell and broke my legs. And then uh, a, a nice full corner piece over there as well. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get back to my. Uh, my table saw to make those ones because I know I need it for that. Uh, there's my table saw. Press E to use. Uh, what's this, like full corn? Wood frame full corn. That's the one. Four of those, please, Jeffrey. Thank you very much. There we go. Nice and easy. All right. And then once that's done, once I get the roof done on the upstairs, I put like the, the storage crates down, repaint them, move all the gubbins from here to up there. And then once all that is done, I can start working on the actual garage. The whole reason I'm here is it's going to take some time to get there. It's times like this where I really, really miss Imperion. Just like being able to like place like massive swaths of building box at one time was the best thing about that game. There was some like pretty good things about that game. Like having a survival crafter set in space like who wouldn't love that but I mean seven days to die is always gonna be close to my heart and I just I just wish like if someone made like a building mod for me I mean this isn't particularly challenging this isn't particularly fun or like interesting to watch me just going around and clicking a bunch of different times to place all the things down but if there was a mod where I like had Imperion style building where I could just click on one point click and drag to another point and it would place all the blocks in that spot for me that would be so so much better if anyone makes one of those for me I will love you Forever. I mean, I know it's weird for me to be like asking for mods because I have no idea how to mod shit. I don't even know if that kind of shit's possible. But if someone finds it or makes it or does whatever and I somehow end up with that mod, I'll be the happiest little Zawoodle whoever 
Woodled Azar. There's a bird around here somewhere. I heard him cawing a second ago. I'm trying to do my construction here, and the only thing that's really a risk to me while I'm doing- Oh, oh, there he is, is a vulture. Ah ha ha, I take it back. With shooting like that, there is no risk to me. That was a fucking good shot. I nailed him right in the face on the run without even taking too much time to line it up. That's unusual for me. That's like someone who's actually good at games doing that shit. That's like- that's- that's way out of my league. Almost done. I need to go get some torches as well and light this up. I mean, now that I don't have to worry about screamers and stuff, I like the- the aesthetic of, uh, like, fire torches so much more than I like electrical lighting. Look at that. It's all nice and done now. Also, you know what actually looks really cool I noticed before as I was walking in? This. I mean, walking through here feels so much more like walking back to your base than it did before when I was just walking onto the roof of my house. So I'm going to put some doors and stuff up there in case they do manage to break in. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like how it looks having actual torches rather than uh, electrical lighting. Eventually, I might put electricity in. I don't ever really feel the need for it, though. I mean, the best thing about electricity is the traps, like the, the um, blade traps, the blenders. But I don't need them. They're stealing XP from me, and I've got a good defense anyway. So it's just kind of a waste of time, resources, and experience. I'm probably going to need four torches, but I'll make six in case I can find somewhere else to put it. Put you back in there. And, uh, you go back in this one, I believe. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're, um, we're cooking along kind of nice. I need to empty my, my actual, uh, backpack of all the stuff I have. Because I need to move the storage containers up another level. In fact, I'll just put the... I didn't put it the way. I need to have that one. I need to paint the right graphics onto the front of the boxes like that. So I can actually know which thing is going in where. So let's go on this side. I think I'll put it. I'll get that. I'll get rid of the Molotovs. And, like, right in the center... Where's the center? I can't quite tell. There and there, I think. And there and there. And then we just go press R. For the people who are wondering how you, how you actually get the boxes that have the graphics on the front of this is how you do it. You get your paintbrush, you press R, and you go, like, storage weapons. And then the easiest way to do it is to hold R and go... Never mind. Don't hold R because uh, there's a, uh, you can actually have one that says uh, paint all sides. But uh, I don't, can't do that without uh, creative mode on, I guess. You can go like that and make them all face the right way. And go ammo, which is the next one. Like that and like that. I know the tops are like often their tits a little bit. But I just can't bother breaking down the boxes and redoing it with it all facing the right way. Like, like, I can see what it is. And that's the main thing. Uh, and the medical one on the end, like that and like that. And there you go. That is how you get the proper, like, storage boxes. Bang some torches around here so we can actually see. And then I'll put the doors down. And then, after I've done that, I'll have a completely blank inventory ready to transport all the things across that I might need to. Um, how am I going to get you to look right? Huh, interesting. Can I actually... Ooh, actually, that's a good spot for it. Go, like, one there and one there. Make it look even more foreboding, even more light for the killing. Then we have the doors. Let's put you like this. Uh -uh. No. There we go. Like that and like that. There we go. We're laughing. Look at that. That's perfect. I've got a whole new room now. It's like the whole floor just moved up one. I'll quickly just grab the bedroll and make sure that's in place upstairs as well. In case in the next five seconds, it's a horde of zombies spawn inside this one room and I die. Boop, just like that. There we go. Lovely. Now I just have to transfer all this stuff and we are good to go. I'm just quickly gonna wipe all these off so I have some storage boxes. This is gonna be my garage. When I come home from an adventure, I need my storage boxes to just dump all the shit in. All the loot that I picked up along the journey goes in here so I can sort it out later. I think that's probably the best option. Uh, which means I'm gonna have to choose the right direction to come in. Which means that way is going to be the garage door entry. Seeing as there's one uh, thing is on all sides here, that is going to have to be the way in and out. Now I just need to remember how wide the drawbridge actually is. Let's get some tools though. We're going to need that one. Um, I'll, I'll get just like my normal setup back. I forgot what it was now. Man, I've, I picked out the wrong thing. I really need to like remember like what I had before I put it all away because now I'm just I'm just ruining myself. I've got a whole bunch of points available, so I may as well use it. Uh, you know, let's lose that one as well. Heavy metal. Uh, power attacks are 40% more damage to stun enemies. You have a 20% chance to knock down enemies with heavy metal. You know what? Fuck it. Let's buy that one too. But I do need. Uh, is it this one? 
Increase block damage by 40, grab one of those as well. Man, there's so many things I can get now. I just have, I have an abundance of points. That killing corridor, I should make a video that is just explaining how the ki killing corridor works, how it's built, all that kind of stuff, so that if you want to build one for yourself, you have it all in one spot rather than how it kind of is now where it's like spread out through a bunch of different episodes. Got a healing factor because I don't have that one already. That's pretty early days I probably should have got. Um, what else have I got in here? Anything... Oh, hidden strike. Extra hidden strike? Yes, sir. Ray, give me that extra 100% damage. Oh, you're, uh, you've both seen me and you're pretty aggressive. You haven't called any friends in yet. I might just spend the night uh, racking up some more XP. Give it like there's no super rush. I mean, oh, actually come, coming up to a horde night, which actually is kind of a rush. Look at them all. Look at them all out there. It's so much easier when you don't have to worry. When you can take your time lining up the shots. Like the worst thing that happens here is I burn myself to death. And that, that's, I mean, that's kind of to be expected given how much of a goose I am. But like, this is just, it's just so calming sometimes. I now see zombies as a, a benefit rather than a danger. All the zombies are dead. I went up another level, so I've got another point to spend. What am I going to spend you on? Uh, hmm, mother, mother load? No, that's not particularly useful to me. Skull crusher? Uh, yes, sure. Okay, I'll take that one. This is the, I, I don't know, I don't have a strategy for where I spend my points. I just kind of do it willy-nilly or whatever I'm thinking of at the time. So not a, I'm not a great user of the experience points, but... I am here. How actually? I need to go check how wide the drawbridge is. I think, I think it's four wide, which would be good for what I've built kind of now. Uh, but I just need to double check that. Can I actually? Are you big enough for me to see inside? Uh, let's have a look here. Let's see. So it goes one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's four wide. If not, well, then I'm gonna have to break down a whole lot more wall than I was expecting to. But right in the center here. This is four wide, which means that's going to be four wide, which means straight through the wall, I'm busting out. I've dug out a pretty considerable chunk of base. I've gone down one extra level as well to try and get this to sit right, although it's not really working for me right now. Here, like right there. Right, there we go. Okay, perfect. You go there. You don't quite reach the other side of the wall, but that's okay, because the main thing is that from upstairs, you are going to be flush with the ground. The, uh, day 28 has turned red as well. It's letting me know that shit is about to hit the fan, but that's fine. That's that's actually pretty perfect. I can put some more concrete in. Or, uh, actually, no, it needs to be wood, because that whole level there is wood. Put some wood there, and all around here will be fine. I just need to like fill up this little gap here, and then build some sort of way to get the bike up to this level out that way. Maybe I could build, a, oh, maybe I could build another drawbridge. Oh, I could do that. Back in Alpha 16, I built a double drawbridge entryway into my base way back when. That was a long time ago now, but I reckon I could do that. It's one, one block either side. I could make that look nice and then have another drawbridge out there. You know what? I think I'm going to. I need to make a whole bunch more forged iron, but I think that's a good option. Got a hundred forged iron crafting away. It was like a uh, drawbridge. It was a so hundred, hundred iron, hundred wood, a thousand wood rather, 20 springs and 30 mechanical parts. Springs might be my only hold up here. 13. How do I build spread, spread, sprang, springs? Forged, oh my god. Oh, springs are expensive. Oh, wow. You know what? I can I can fix that, though. Let's quickly go. Let's grab my kish, and we'll go up to the trader, and we'll just buy some, because I'm not wasting forged steel on, um, on a, a drawbridge. If this I can't find it at the trader, I just won't have another drawbridge. Give me, my, give me my bike. There we go. Let's quickly just test out if I can get out of here. Maybe can a bike clear a one-block gap? I'm not sure. About to find out, though. Put you there. Jump on you. Ready, set, go. Make it. Make it. Hop. Yes! Perfect, and away I go! Just pull my bike up right out the front. Just there will do. Cheers, bikey Rooney. What do you got for me? You better have some springs. Please have some springs. Uh, can I see inventory? Let's go, uh, spurs. <gasps> You got 24. I will have all of your springs. Thank you very much. I've never actually right. wanted springs map. before. I usually just scrap the springs, which turns out to be a rather bad, bad idea, given how much you actually get uh, out of them compared to what you need to make them again. Oh, I hate reversing with the, with the new like camera control uh, bike is just annoying. Having to use the mouse to try and reverse the three-point turn is a nightmare. God, just regular driving is a nightmare, apparently. What is wrong with me today? Get out the freaking door. There we go. God, I'd be lucky to make it home at this rate. This will work perfectly. If this is the entryway to my base here, I'm going to have a nice, like, easy ramp up. Oh, there's a plane coming in. A nice, easy ramp up. 
to another drawbridge leading over the wall into my base. That will be a okay. But uh, for the meantime, I'm going to have to go the long way around up through the corridor of death. Hopefully there's no screamers over here right now. Now that I'm on the ground, I'm actually in danger just a little bit. But uh, this is all, this is all, oh, God, my, my stairs have seen some better days. That's for sure. But this is coming together really quite nicely. So I'm going to need uh, arch, uh, wet concrete arch. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to need eight of these. Grab that. I'm also going to need a whole bunch of ramp, wet concrete ramp. Um, how many am I going to need of this actually? Uh, one, two, three, four, one. Shit, it's like, so I need, I need, think I need at least 12, but I'll go 16 just in case. Because I feel like if I don't do that, then I'll regret it later. Uh, we have concrete block, and we'll turn the rest of it just into concrete blocks. So that should be good. Right, make that for me. You're still smelting away all my forged iron. In fact, I might almost have enough now just to do it. Grab that. Uh, was mechanical parts and wood and that and springs. There we go. And it's on the workbench. That's right. Draw bridge. Draw bridge. Craft that. Whoop. There we go. Okay. We are well on our way to making a sweet garage entry. Might even grab the old rebar frames just for future use because they are going to come in handy, which means that the, uh, the ramp should be done. Yep. Grab that. Okay. Let's start building the actual entryway. And the first step of that is to come over here here i can't actually see what i'm placing down there jump down here right about there yep that'll do all across here just because as i always say aesthetics matter if you've got a nice rounded kind of entry there onto the drawbridge then it's just going to make everything look better in the long run i'm going to do the same for that on the other side however i did hear a screamer out there see there it is just like just like uh, murmuring away in the distance like, we're going to take care of her and then I can move on to the building session because I can't, I can't risk this idiot calling in all the reinforcements when I'm not ready for it. There we go. She's dead. All right, we are good. So I need to get this right. So that's where it sits there. So how how long is? It? I think it's like five, or maybe no, it might be like six long actually. Okay, well we can do this. So from here, one, uh, this this is how you got to count some days. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Yep, that looks about right. So it's six long uh, from where it gets placed. So I need to go seven out from this block here. I mean, I guess I kind of, I'm saying a bunch of different numbers, but I'm hoping you're following along with what I'm thinking or how my brain is trying to work. I'm not sure if it's actually coming across that well. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I place it there, then it should line up perfectly with there. At least that is the plan. My plans often don't work as well as I would hope. Oh, I just realized something. Oh, I can't use ramps. I can't use the ramps because it's like it's too steep. The bike won't be able to get up. I'm going to have to build wedge tips. Oh, damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to use... I'm going to leave the frames here for now, but I'm not actually going to use them when it comes to building it because it's just... That's going to be way, way too expensive. I'm going to use so many... Fr oh, actually... I guess I probably could build it out of ring and force. Like, why not? I mean, I've got to have to upgrade it later anyway. So it's going to go like two out like that. Oh, I'm just not going to build it solid. I was going to build like a solid big ramp thing out here. But uh, that seems like a pretty bad idea now that I'm going to have to build so many more blocks than what I was expecting to. And the next level down, just like that. And then the next level down like that. So that's how long that entry ramp is going to be. Oh, I did. I forgot about the, the angle of attack. That's a uh, rookie hour over here. All right, I have my wet wedge, wet concrete wedge tips and wet concrete wedges. So I just need to upgrade these so I have something to attach them to. Spending all of my concrete on this. I had a bunch of supply left over and uh, it's, um, I mean, it's all going very quickly. Like big concrete structures, turns out it takes a lot of resources to build. Who'd have thunk it? I made the same amount of uh, wedges that I did uh, ramp. So I thought 16 was going to be enough, but oh, actually, oh, I'm a fucking genius. I am a genius. Look at that. That is the perfect amount. It's exactly what I needed. I love it when I take a, I take a stab at something and just kind of work from my kind of very vague memory and hope for the best. And it works out like a charm. It's very rare that it happens. Often, I will, I mean, you've seen it a bunch of times. I think I'm doing the right thing. And then push comes to shove and I've completely cocked it up. But in this one very particular moment, I have nailed it. And no one can take that away from me. Oh, yes, I can't wait till I built it all in the wrong spot and the drawbridge doesn't work. But that's fine. Whatever. Nothing can be, uh, kill my heart, my, my high right now, except my inability to actually talk. Here we go. The moment of truth. It all looks good so far. Place you there. No issues with placing it on wet concrete. There's a little bit of a lip. 
Oh, that makes me a bit nervous, actually. Is that going to be a problem? I really hope not. Let's grab you, and we'll just put you out in the field, and we'll give you a, little, a quick little test run. I know it's still wet, and the spikes are going to get dug in to the wet concrete, but I need to know. I need to know if this is going to work now, rather than, like, try to do it later when I'm in the middle of a horde and having issues. Up, up, and in, and perfect, and stop the bike there, and we turn around, and we close it all behind me. Look at that. Look at that. That is fucking wicked. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, there is the thunder of the impending horde. Look at that. It fits snugly into the wall as well. Oh, I am a happy little Jeffrey right now. Oh, man. That was a big build. It took me like, what, two days to build that. I've finished it right ahead of the day 28 Blood Moon Horde, which is a fantastic place to stop so I can make an episode of the Horde and then maybe raiding that big POI I saw uh, over there. I mean, the Horde isn't even really a challenge anymore. I'm not worried. I mean, if something out of the ordinary, like a cop or something shows up, I can just use my oh shit AK. But every other guy gets taken out with a bow and arrow easy as you like. That is so good. I am so happy. I, I like that it kind of clips through, it clips through the blocks, but that's okay with me because it doesn't overtake the view at the top. You can't even see it. It just looks nice and snug in the side of the wall. So there you go. That is the like zombie-proof, secure garage entry to my amazing invincible base. So I'll have to come back. I can't believe I built another double drawbridge. I, I was not planning to do that, but then the opportunity rose and I couldn't resist. So I'll have to come back and play some more Seven Days to Die in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.